Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we are going to be making a cow crusher farm. Also, I would like to also get to um, maybe even a sugar, cane, a sugar cane farm if possible. That being said, I have a question for you. Why does it take so long to find cows? I think they should fix that. <laughs> Right, so um, I had to go on a bit of a journey, and on said journey, I found one, two, three, and four. I found four dogs, and I think that's amazing. So, I need you. I need you guys' help. If you can please go to the comments right now and suggest some names for some of these beautiful looking dogs, I'd really appreciate that. That's right. I have four dogs. That means I'm looking for four different unique names and I'll pick the best ones. So please, once again, go down to the uh, comments and please suggest some names. All right, that being said, I don't know if you can see that over there, but that's where I'm actually housing right now all the, um, the sheep and the cows that I found. So let's go over there real quick. Let me take the boat because it's, you know, more efficient and quicker. And also explain that that you just saw but first let's just get to this right so as you can hear we now have some sheep which is pretty cool and we have some cows again these are just temporary pens so I know they're ugly but it's fine they'll do the job for, for the time being all right so that being said um what I'm going to do now is I'm going to gather some materials. Um, I think I'm going to follow a tutorial by Waddles, his cow crusher a tutorial, and I'll drop his information down in the description. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and gather some materials, and I'll come back with you guys when all those materials are ready. I'll see you in a couple seconds. I know I said I was going to bring you back when I got the materials, but I decided for that reason, I want to kind of show you what I've got going here. And this is just a simple, you know, mine entrance basically. And I'm planning on making it a whole lot more pretty later on. But for now, it's just a pretty much simple mine that goes straight down to level 12 where we can mine. Now, that being said, so far I haven't found any diamonds whatsoever. I've only found a little bit of, you know, resources as you can see right here I got 48 redstone dust I got some lapis yeah, about 42 43 got over 45 plus 3 okay iron an extra bucket right there that I made that I didn't need because I have one right here um, yeah and plenty of other building blocks like cobblestone and you know andesite and you know all that good stuff right there so yeah just your standard strip mine as you can see right there it doesn't go very far at all in fact it's it stops right there <laughs> and basically the same thing for here although with this one if you just go down here a little bit further and you turn this right it's just a bunch of lava I, I kept here because I mean why not that's a good um, fuel for cooking so or smelting so I left that there I also found a cave here before I, I lit it up you know I gathered whatever resources was in it like coal and all that stuff and this well not this cave another cave but whatever same concept so yep I thought I'd just bring you in to show you that and um, yeah so now I'm gonna go get those materials because I needed the redstone which I kinda kept down here so now that you guys have seen that let me just get the redstone that we're gonna need and you can actually see that I made a hopper already a chest I got I got a little bit of wood and you know 
a couple, a couple other you know bits and stuff like that so yeah let me go back up to the surface and I'll meet you guys there when I get there see you in a second all right folks so welcome back as you can see I have two cows behind me and they're what we're going to need for today's redstone project so basically we're just going to build a nice small compact cow crusher and again the tutorial is by waddles so before we uh, start building this thing let's quickly go over the materials list so as you can see in my inventory I have a chest a hopper some building blocks you can choose any that you want a stair the same thing you can choose anything that you want a bucket of water we're actually going to need like two fences for this one button we're actually going to need one fence but to place it right you're going to need a second fence anyhow so two fences a button and a dispenser also keep in mind you're probably going to need wheat so make sure you have a decent supply of that and also like i said at least two cows to begin with um fortunately for me i do have a couple more in there but uh too many cows chasing after you for wheat is not a good look so let me take this wheat off my offhand for the time being and let's see so i think later on I'm, i want to put a barn link over here so i kind of want to center this cow crusher in a perfect spot if that's even possible so anyhow to the tutorial right what you want to do is build or not build but dig down two blocks one two and one two just like that then next up you want to take your chest and you want to take your hopper and put it in put it down just like this so basically you want to put your chest down first like that and then you want to take your hot hopper and attach it to the back of it now if you're not familiar with hoppers i'll just go down here to show you this real quick um you just basically want to make sure let's see if i can get a good enough angle of it yes you want to make sure that this part right here the hopper is going inside the chest because then if you throw like some random item on top of it which i'm about to do in a second right uh it should go in if it's placed right so let's see if i just throw one piece of dirt in there as you saw it just disappeared and there it goes it's in the chest so there you go hopper 101 for you if you didn't know before right so back to the build the next thing you want to do is actually hold on let me fill um hmm, let me fill this back in with the dirt at least that one right now you want to put your upside down stair which i have right here on top of your chest the reason why is because it'll give you access to your chest later on so for now let's just put this here and as you can see i can still open the chest with the upside down stair in it right cool so the next thing you want to do is get your dispenser like this you want to put it facing down this direction nope not like that facing the hopper actually all right so let's see maybe if i do it from like far behind here or something maybe let's see ah there we go perfect so now that we have our dispenser facing in that way this is where you actually you can put your bucket in that's fine if you want to do it now that's perfectly okay next up you want to surround your um cow crusher with blocks on all sides like this so put one there there put one on this and put one on top of this as well now uh as you can see the uh hoppers right there this is the point as to where you want to um get your cows in so now that we're back here by this contraption what we want to do is kind of nudge them into this hole right so they see me they see that i have the wheat and basically we want to get one of them inside of there all right guys so look we finally got our two cows in here successfully it took me about i don't know five minutes or so which is way too long but anyhow here's the part where i said you're probably going to need two fences at least just to put the one fence in right so if you just put one fence right there and then one fence right there well now the cows can't get out so you can get rid of this fence right here and there you go now they're in there now basically um the end of this is the last piece which is the button again you can have any button i chose an oak, an oak button because it was easy to make and now when you want to dispense the water there you go and now we can easily feed them so if you just go like that as you see the cows get fed all right so next up I think what I want to do is kind of make this a little bit more beautiful okay so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna clear up this cow pen right here I'm probably just gonna kill those two cows I'm not sure but um yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something with those remaining cows I'm gonna clean up the cobblestone uh, 
a gate situation I have going with them. I'll bring you guys back in when I'm ready to build the barn and when I have a little layout going. Okay, I'll see you in a second. So here we are back at the barn and you can kind of see this um, layout that I did. Check this out. I think it's going to come out pretty cool. Alright, so if I go down here, I'll explain it to you briefly how it's going to look. Um, so basically, originally I was going to have this as the entrance. But when I was actually looking at it, right, you see this tight kind of corner right here. I thought that might be a bit of a problem. So what I think I'm going to do is just use this right here as the entrance. And yeah, I'll just in all this like I do the rest of the house so um, I actually didn't count the width of this so I can't give you the dimensions this time but I'll give it to you next time anyhow so yep on each uh, log here you can see we're gonna I'm gonna pop out a log on each one basically for a detailed look and then I'm probably gonna end up as usual putting like a stair on top of those and I'm gonna do that same kind of thing all the way around and if you haven't seen my barns before they're pretty it's simple what I, I like to make a small barn not too big not too crazy um, and then what I do is I'll attach like a, um, a fenced area where you can have both like let's say your sheep and your cows and obviously for at the moment um, there's not a lot of space here so I'm probably just going to tear down these trees and I'll probably lower this here dirt and also um, do something with this sand and that sand and replace it with dirt um, yeah, but that's part of detailing and I don't think I need to show that off on camera. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do next is I'm probably going to lift all of these, um, all of these up, all of these logs up by a total of no more than I believe, uh, four. So let me do that real quick. And when I come back, I should be done with that and I'll show you what my progress is. All right. See you guys in a second. Alright guys, so change of plans, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a mini tutorial. So basically I'm just going to show how I make this barn um, in the process. So like I said, I'm not sure if I said it before, but we're just going to start off by lifting all these up by uh, four. So one, two, three, and four, four, and then just cross them like this. Okay, so just like that, we're going to do that on each and every side. So let me do that. And then I'll bring you guys back when I'm done doing that part, okay? Alright guys, if you did as I said, you should have a roof that kind of looks just like that now, okay? Now, um, what you should do next is make a whole bunch of oak staircases. Uh, the reason why is because for every single one of these logs right here, around this whole building, you're just going to put a stair there, just like this, on every single one. Alright guys, so the next thing we want to do now is we're going to start working on the roof. Um, I'm going to use oak wood stairs because we kind of did the, the, whole, um, the whole structure of this barn and spruce. So I'm kind of, you know, I want to change up the blocks a little bit here, okay? Now, um, I haven't decided if I want to put the roof where it looks like it's going in this direction or if I want to do the roof where it basically looks like it's a big kind of bell over here. I think I'm gonna go with the, the bell facing out this way. That way when we look from our house, which is right there, you can see the roof on this, kind of in this U shape here. So that being said, like I said, make sure you have plenty of oak stairs, right? So what you're gonna do first is, it's kind of basically how I built that one, uh, except maybe I think it's gonna be a bit more circular just because of the uh, nature of the build. So anyhow, what you wanna do first is we're gonna put a stair right here just like this then um, we're gonna overhang it by just one just like so next put your upside down stair just like that and then you're gonna get, you're gonna need to get some oak planks uh, let me make a couple right quick okay that should be enough for now so basically you're just gonna put an oak plank on top of that followed by a stair if you guessed it well <laughs> good job Alright, so basically you want to start and repeat on this side as well. 
so put it stay there and then put one just overhanging it and then just like on the other side put an upside down stair and a plank and uh, I need to go sleep real quick so let me go do that and we'll get back to building as soon as morning hits all right sweet now that it's morning and mob free we can get back to building so uh, you see that we have this on both sides right or actually no let me put a stair here so now that we have that on both sides we're just going to again do the upside down stair on both and then hmm I think we're going to put another plank there and then another stair and again on both sides So plank and stair. Now here's the part where it gets interesting. Um, we're gonna go with an upside down stair here. Actually, we're gonna go with an upside down stair on both sides. But I think at this point we actually need to make a couple of slabs. So let me do that now. And let's see. I'm just gonna do it like that. There we go. 48 should be enough to start with. And let me pull her up to the build. Okay, just like this. Now, um, after the after you put your last upside down stair, just like we did there, we're gonna start with a slab roof from this point forward. So, um, we're, doing, we're gonna put a slab here, just like that, and then we're just gonna come out like this, and we're just gonna gradually go up like this. And so we get to the middle, which I think is right about here. So same thing on this side, put a slab and then just double it until you get to the center. Instead of that, let's just put uh, two more slabs, just like this. Okay, and there we have it. So now let's just go down and take a look at how the roof came out. I'm going for the more traditional uh, bell-like shape, the like bell-like uh, shark wheeler shape. So yeah, just like that, I think it came out pretty cool. And now basically, I'm gonna do what I did there in the back. So just give me a couple of seconds and I'm gonna go ahead and mirror what I did in the front to the back. All right guys, congratulations. If you made it this far, you probably have a roof that looks something like this. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go, on a, we're gonna go ahead and fill in the roof. And the way we're gonna do that is as follows. So basically, um, whenever you see a stair, you just fill it in with stairs, and whenever you see planks, just fill it in with planks. Now, finally, when you go up to this level, you wanna take your slabs and basically just connect them from one point to the next. All right guys, so good news. I finished the roof and I just want you guys to take a look at this. Check this out. I think it came out looking so cool and to be honest I never made uh, um, the roof to the barn like this ever before so to be honest I didn't know it was going to come out looking like this but I think I hit it on the nail wouldn't you guys say <laughs> right so the last thing I did was on the very top of the roof I just took an oak slab and I put it on every other space just like that yeah so it gives it a better uh, transition and more detail right so then the next thing and probably the last thing we're going to do is uh, we want to do something with this right here. We're going to fill this in with stairs and slabs on both ends and also we want to put some walls in here. Again, uh, today's episode is not really about detailing so much. It's just about the build. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and detail it off camera uh, simply because I showed you guys my method of detailing. But I will show you it after like the complete way that I, uh, you know, make my barns. Uh, that being said, it's about to get nighttime, so let me just pop over here and sleep real quick, and uh, we'll finish up the barn. Alright guys, so now that it's daytime, like I said, let's get started on this roof. Or not the roof, but 
just this right here this blank area where you see the spruce uh, log going from one side to the next so what you want to do here um, right here where there's an upside down um, oak uh, stair you want to just skip one and then place um, your spruce one and then you want to skip a space and just basically just keep repeating this like this and then in those missed gaps you just want to put in your spruce slabs just like this and then when you get back it should look just like that pretty cool huh all right so go ahead so let me repeat this on the other side and i'll come back with you guys after that's done all right guys so now that i mirrored this um this trim right here on both sides what we want to do next is actually just fill in these uh wall spaces with i think at this point just use spruce planks or um any other wood type that you prefer i'm just going to use spruce planks um, i know i did the border in spruce but i also did the roof in, in oak right here so i think this spruce will look better but you know at the end of the day you can choose whatever block you think looks better for your barn so real quick like i'm just going to fill every single part of this barn in just like this i'll probably leave like a little gap like this here so that way i can put like a little window in there or something um hmm, let's see actually i'm gonna do one with y'all right now let me get some stairs right here that i have so i'm gonna put a stair right there yeah i think that's pretty cool and then another stair right there just like that all right ladies and gentlemen so if you did everything right your barn should now look something like this and it's nearing completion so let me explain this to you before we worry about the last part which is going to be basically just filling this in all right so like i told you i went around and i just basically filled it in with um spruce planks i left space right here with the stairs like this and then the upside down right here basically one wide so that way later on when i get glass i could put that in there and also it um it gives it a bit of depth too which is always important in a build so yeah i did that right but only only those two right there every other one is basically it looks just like this it's just one wide a one wide window on every basically every other um, one this one right here as you can see there's a stair that is going to lead to the top floor so unfortunately even if you put a glass here or whatever it's not going to be the best location but it, but it's fine it's yeah it's a barn and i use this nice door design i've i've seen it around in the community for quite a while so basically the trick is basically you take some trap doors and you put like three here three here and three there you close them and then you remove the uh, first two trap doors which will be located right there and then you put the you know the door of your choice there and there you go and if you ask me it looks pretty cool and it gives it again the the look of you know depth which is always one of those good things for any build so um also you can see that i put some cobblestone just a little bit you know like right there and right there a little bit right there and here there really wasn't too much room for cobblestone in this build so yeah that's where you you know see i put it just on the edges basically and um another thing you can do if you wanted to as far as uh you know detailing and basically breaking up the constant wood look is that if you take either whatever wood type is your favorite whether that's stripped oak or uh you know stripped spruce what you could do is here let me show you real quick so you can just randomly and just random spots just go and do something like this you take some stripped uh spruce like this and now look see now it looks like this this barn has been here for like a millennial or something or mil millennia <laughs> it's a millennia listen to me all right so you do that and maybe we could you know put another one here too if you wanted to again completely random spots and then just strip it like that and now it looks like it's a little weathered you know and it looks like it's been here for a while so that's another trick that you could do but like i said all the detailing i'm pretty much going to do off camera and i'll show you the final result when all that's said and done right so the last thing i want to do is i want to put a little barrier here if, if you will all right so not on this one right here so not on the outer last um uh, trim but one inside so basically if you if this is you know the outside just go in by one and then you could either begin with spruce or you could begin, begin with oak whatever you know what type you prefer i'm going to begin with uh oak so i'm going to just basically you know fill in with oak every other one so as you see i'm just going to fill them in with oak every other one um there might be awkward gaps because we use slabs on the top um 
what you could do is just, you could just put another like spruce slab there since this is all basically spruce uh, slabs and yeah it, it yeah no one's gonna notice it so yeah just fill them up you know as, as much as you can and like I said every other one just fill in with oak logs just like this and then you're gonna do the same exact thing with the spruce logs and yeah it'll look so cool afterwards just like that and then finally right here and then you could leave it like this if you wanted to flush that'd be totally fine it's really up to you guys what you want to do but I'm just gonna take out one for a window you know for later on or whatever but um yeah also I'm just gonna strip them all just like this I think that looks pretty pretty cool just like this And yeah, so there we go. Now, basically, I'm just going to repeat what we did there on this side. And I'll be back with you guys when the whole barn is done, when it's all detailed, and yeah. Well, hey there, folks. I'm just in the boat here enjoying a little ride from my house. <laughs> I had to go get a little bit more food. But I know that's what you don't want to hear. What you wanted to hear was, I want to see the barn. I want to see how it came out. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls... And of course, the kidsters, I have something that is so amazing and it's going to make you jump out your seat. Are you ready to see this? In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, there it is. Look at this barn. It came out so nice. Um, I've never made a barn like this before. This was actually my first time at it, so I'm, I'm very proud of myself on the way it came out. Now, let's just go over the um, exterior real quick because I don't want to make this too like long uh, the video is long enough as it is but um, quickly here you can see I started doing some detailing on this end um, I didn't really get to finish because it's a lot of detailing but um, as you can see with the cobblestone slabs there it definitely makes the uh, mountain I guess you can call that a mountain it definitely makes it pop out more than let's say that one over there right it's like that cobblestone texture just grabs you by your eyes it's like stare at me look at me now right so that's pretty cool so outside of that yep you're going to see that i put like random little piles of rocks at times or rock structures just just rocks just to just things that'll grab your attention also on the floor you'll see um path blocks or you know paths dirt paths you'll see uh coarse dirt you'll see a little bit of podzo and of course grass so with that being said i'm just going to show you how the back came out and um yeah, I don't think I need to talk about it because I just explained it to you guys. So I hope you guys, you know, yeah. So anyhow, we uh, I also used a uh, what looks like a a grass box almost you could say, which is basically fancy for just saying a bunch of leaves. <laughs> so I have that there, and this is actually a flower box that I put there. I think it came out pretty cool. Again, the path is pretty, you know, self-explanatory. It's nothing like. You know that no one's ever seen before so we have that going right um as as you know i was over here farming the spruce earlier so you know i put some, i put a lantern there put some more cobblestone around again some more pods some more coarse dirt and yeah i think it came out looking absolutely amazing i totally like i think i blended it in right so yeah also with that being said i also found this uh, naturally generated circular like um area which i thought was perfect for a campfire so that's exactly what I put there, a campfire, and I think it looks cool. I mean, it's a campfire, so it's, look, doesn't that look like a magnificent campfire? <laughs> right, so yeah, I like it. I think it's cool. I hope you I hope you guys think it's cool too. If you do, can you please let me know in the comments what you thought about it? Not just the campfire, but the build in general. I mean, I would love to hear your advice. I would love to hear maybe... Uh, any tips or anything that you guys might have or any suggestions or anything so yes please leave all of those down in the comments and I'll be sure to read them so next up we have this path that continues to about right there that spruce tree basically it ends right there and since the tree was already there I didn't really you know feel the need to expand it or anything so I just ended it there um, you can see with the spruce fence I have here I randomly put lanterns for lighting obviously and there's also one on the tree right there so yeah, I think it came out looking really cool. And I mean, if, if you like the way it looks in the daytime, I mean, just watch and look and see how it looks at night. It's so amazing. So let, let's run this way. 
and just look at this it looks so cool like the way it's lit up at night like let me get in the boat real quick you're going to see what i mean right so if i just go this way real quick just a little bit because i don't want to uh, 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 i don't want to go too far right just make a little u-turn and look at that it's just so cool i mean woohoo amazing 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 so let's just go in here real quick and get some sleep and um well okay i guess my bed is my inventory yes it is so let's just put it there real quick and let's just go nighty night because <laughs> uh i'm pretty sure them creepers are not waiting for me to sleep they're ready to blow me up <laughs> all right so let me move this real quick and yes now we're on the inside right so as you guys know this was a mainly a tutorial for this cow crusher and of course the barn but the cow crusher is the center of attention right now i mean come on you get uh plenty of beef and of course you need you know wheat to feed the cows but the other ingredient is you get plenty of leather now i haven't been afk or anything so i just casually come and you know breed the cows every now and then and that's what i that's what i have so far so um yeah this this uh, cow crusher is really good i really like i really am, am enjoying it um Unfortunately, I was on Bedrock before, so I really couldn't use a, a farm like this. Not like this particular one, but shout out to Waddles. He did an amazing job. Also, like I said before, I'm going to link this video and his channel down in the description. And yeah, so you guys can go check out Waddles. He, you know, he's an amazing content creator. He makes great videos. His Minecraft guide is top charts. I mean, it's, it's great. I've been watching this since like season two. Like, yeah, so... <laughs> Again, I'll, I'll, I'll link all that down in the description, and please go check him out. He's, he's awesome. So, yep, yeah, moving on from that. Um, so, in the interior, I just stuck with a nice basic um, rhythm, I guess you can say. I didn't really pack too much in here, uh, because this is supposed to be a barn after all. So, as you can see, you know, I put a little barrels here, there. Um, there's an anvil. There's a, a stone cutter right here. And, yeah, the palette, is, you know, it's reflective of... You know the one that's on the roof so basically all the blocks you see me use for the build itself is pretty much in here as well so crafting table like i said barrels anvil little table here and yeah trap doors in certain spots and of course you got the um the ceiling with the oak log and then the spruce slabs so yeah looking pretty cool and now let's just go upstairs real quick um i don't really have a lot of you know resources right now so I mean, I could have put hay in here, but I don't even have enough of that to make um, hay bells. So I just put a couple of, you know, bushes of the oak leaves and the birch leaves in. To be honest, I think it did a job. And of course, a little chest for storage. Um, I'm hoping to find some sweet berries because I usually make a little small sweet berry farm here. So, yeah. But until then, the, the, the lantern will serve just as perfect, right? <laughs> right. So moving on now let's go to the backyard or not the backyard but the main area where um the sheep and all the cows and pigs and whatever else you know you guys want to have is going to be here so basically just more or less what you see in the front it's emulated back here and i think more of a grand um scale uh these trees these two trees here were actually right where they were originally i didn't move them i didn't grow them nothing um they were actually in line with one another so i just took the spruce fence and basically connected them all the way around and this is a lot of space i believe in giving animals their freedom much like villagers i don't like to confine villagers to like a one by one i just think that's me and that's just me personally but you know it's minecraft anyhow at the end of the day so again um yeah more flower boxes and you know here's the little eating tray um which is pretty cool there goes the windows up there i put a trap door on there for a shutter you're also going to see trapdoors on some of the windows, not all of them, because some of them have like uh, flower boxes and stuff like that, which would um, make it look kind of irregular. So, so if they had stuff like that, I didn't put them there because I I like things that look pretty. Um, the words not even, but basically, you know how they mirror one another. So, yeah. Um, for details, I put like uh, oak slabs on top, as you can see here, and I also did it over there as well, and also on the side of the barn. On both sides I did this trick where you just put a, uh, a slab of any kind whatever your choice is and you just you know put one and then skip one and then put one and skip one and so on and so forth until you get to the end so I did that trick and um yeah a little bit more bushes over here and stuff like that uh, rocks and yeah it's pretty cool 
I really, really like this build. I hope you guys did too. And with that being said, uh, I'm, I'm pretty much going to get out of here now. Uh, this video is actually very long and I need to, you know, edit it so I can get it out to you guys. Hopefully today, you know, sooner than later. So with that being said, I hope you liked this video. If you did, can you please leave a like and consider subscribing. Um, other than that, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, again, please just leave them down in the comments and I will read them. Uh, if there's nothing else, have a great day. I'll see you in the next Minecraft video. Bye-bye now. Bye.